Okay, so we are now going to talk about dollar cost averaging. Michelle basically bought a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin in January, and we're gonna. She doesn't remember the exact date, so we're just gonna tell her the price was thirteen thousand five hundred. So yeah, thirteen thousand five hundred basically, and she bought at that at that price. So what? Dollar cost averaging is, is you are basically going to make buys every week, every two weeks, every three week. And this is where you kind of like time the market. So if you thought Bitcoin was really, really cheap at 13,000, instead of buying a uh, hundred dollars worth every two weeks, you would instead buy $200 worth. So let's just say you think mm -hmm. Bitcoin at 13,000 is a great price. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to buy 200 this week, 200 next. Like I'm going to basically spend a thousand dollars, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it over five weeks. Okay. And we'll kind of like go over mm -hmm. this simulation. So you buy your first Bitcoin at 13,500. And now like, let's just say a week goes by and now the price of Bitcoin is at 11,000. So, would you, I mean, once again, this is all hindsight, but let's just say, okay, now you think, oh, Bitcoin's really cheap. So I'm going to buy now $200 worth more at 11,000. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what happens? Another week passes by, it hits 8,000. So what do you do? You got to buy a little more. So you've now spent $600, yeah. but your average buy isn't 13,000. It's going to be somewhere between 8,000 and 13,000. So let's just say your average buy is around 10 grand. And now we're going to mm -hmm. continue this, right? So the next two weeks, it goes back up to 10,000. Now, this is where you might be cautious and be like, oh, it went up to 10,000. I already bought Bitcoin at 8,000. I don't want to buy more. So you're going to only buy $100 worth for this week, right? And then what mm -hmm. do you know? Time passes. Now it's at 7,000. So you decide to buy $200 more. And another two weeks happens. You buy at 9,000. Another two weeks happens. You buy at like 8,000. Do you see? So now you're, you're, you, the goal yeah. is basically you want to spend larger amounts when you're, you know, you're bringing your average buy down. And this trend too, like I said, no one could really tell, but this is a bear market trend. Um, there's a lot of chart analysis stuff you can watch on YouTube. I'm not going to cover that, but, um, in a bear market, you usually want to be uh, very hesitant to buy unless you go back to your old price. So if you had bought, for example, at 7,000, you really don't want to buy back in again until you buy 7,000. And remember, you've now invested like, you know, 800 bucks into Bitcoin. So whatever, let's just say mm -hmm. now it goes up to 20,000 and you missed some of that. I mean, you still have $800 invested. Yeah. And like I said, you're, you're preparing yourself that if another dip happens, like, you know, if you waited longer, you could have even bought Bitcoin at 6,800. And what do you know right now? Bitcoin's at 6,100. And so have you made a purchase of Bitcoin since your $1,000 uh, purchase? No, I haven't. And I really want to. I just, and, you know, seeing your videos online, I was like, oh, my God, I need to start looking at this again. And I know it's been down for a while. So I know it's a good time to purchase. I just haven't done it yet. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to cut this video and we're going to talk about maybe purchasing in the future. So let me go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. turn this video off.